हेलो एंड वेलकम लेट्स टॉक अबाउट हाइपरिमेसिस ग्रेविडेरम व्हाट डज इट मीन बाय हाइपरिमेसिस ग्रेविडेरम इट इज अ सीवियर टाइप ऑफ वॉमिटिंग ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी व्हिच हैज गॉट डिलेटरियस इफेक्ट ऑन द हेल्थ ऑफ मदर एंड अ इनकैपेसिटेटेड्स हर इन डे टू डे एक्टिविटीज इटियोलॉजी द फर्स्ट ट्राइमेस्टर मोर कॉमन इन फर्स्ट प्रेगनेंसी यंगर एज लो बॉडी मास हिस्ट्री ऑफ मोशन सिकनेस और माइग्रेन फैमिलियल हिस्ट्री एंड मोर प्रिवेलेंट इन हाइड्रेटेड फ्रॉम मोल एंड मल्टीपल प्रेगनेंसी and more common in unplanned pregnancies the theory is associated with hyperemesis gravidarum there is a hormonal theory there is a psychogenic theory hormone theory includes excess of chorionic gonadotropin or higher biological activity of shg is associated high serum level of estrogen and progesterone psychogenic dietary deficiency allergic or immunological basis and decreased gastric motility are other theories the pathology The liver, the liver enzymes are elevated. The kidney is usually normal with occasional findings of fatty change in the cells of the first convoluted tubule, which may be related to acidosis. A small heart is a constant finding in case of hyperemesis gravidarum. There may be subendocardial hemorrhage. A small hemorrhages in the hypothalamic region, giving the manifestation of Wernicke's encephalopathy, may be seen. The reason may be related to vitamin B1 deficiency. There are some uh, metabolic, biochemical. And circulatory changes. These are given here. You can note from here the clinical features. The cases are grouped into early and late. Early is usually uh, mild, and late includes moderate to severe. Early, the vomiting occurs throughout the day, and the normal day-to-day -day activities are curtailed. But there is no evidence of dehydration or starvation. In case of late group, uh, the evidences of dehydration and starvation are present. Now symptoms: the vomiting is increasing in frequency with retching. Urine quantity is diminished even to the stage of oliguria. Epigastric pain, constipation may occur, and complications may appear if not treated in time. Now signs: the features of dehydration and kidney acidosis like dry, coated tongue, sunken eyes, acetone, smell in breath, tachycardia, hypotension, rising temperature may be noted. Jaundice is a late feature. On vaginal examination and or ultrasonography. The confirmation of the diagnosis of the pregnancy may be done. Investigations, urine analysis may be done to see the quantity, the dark color, high viscosity gravity with acidic reaction may be seen. Presence of acetone, occasional presence of protein and rarely bile pigments may be seen. Biochemical and circulatory changes can be seen with a routine and periodic estimation of the serum electrolytes. Serum TSH, T3 and F3. Ophthalmic examination if the patient is seriously ill and ECG when there is abnormal serum potassium level. Diagnosis: The pregnancy is to be confirmed first. Thereafter, all the associated causes of vomiting should be excluded. Ultrasonography is useful not only to confirm the pregnancy but also to exclude other obstetric causes like hydrated from mole, multiple pregnancy, and some other gynecological, surgical, or medical causes of vomiting. Complications: The major complications include neurologic complications like. Wernicke's encephalopathy, beriberi due to thymine deficiency, pontan myelo myelinolysis, peripheral neuritis, and Korsakoff psychosis. Stress also in the stomach, esophageal tear, jaundice, hepatic failure, convulsions and coma, hypothrombinemia due to vitamin K deficiency and renal failure may be the complications. Management: The principles in the management include maintenance of hydration. to control vomiting to correct the fluids and electrolyte imbalance to correct metabolic disturbances to prevent the serious complications of severe vomiting and care of pregnancy the management includes hospitalization fluids drugs which includes antimetic drugs mainly put methazine or procuperazine or trifluoropromazine metacrylate can be given too hydrocortisone also given and nutrition supplementation with b vitamin b1 vitamin b6 vitamin c and vitamin b12 are given Appropriate nursing care should be given, and hyperemesis progesterone progesterone should be uh, kept. The diet includes before the intravenous food is omitted, the fruits are given orally. At first, dry carbohydrate food, foods like biscuits, bread, and toast are given, but and small but frequent feeds are recommended, and the gradually full diet is restored. End of the topic.